welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. I haven't recorded in some time now. And when I say some time, I mean about maybe three to four days. I don't even remember. At the time of this recording, I'm currently wearing a suit in game. So if you want to see what that looks like, head over to my second channel and you'll see some streams where I am indeed wearing a suit with a cowboy hat that makes me more detectable than a satellite dish in Nebraska. But the hat fire though, you can't tell me it's not. Anyways, still going on with the y'all are sleeping on the L86 ordeal that I have going on in the back of my head right now. I decided to take it out onto field content. Now important moment here coming up. Whenever you spawn right here, somebody spawns directly in front of you, but you can't see them. That's why I always drop to the ground as soon as I start walking. Because chances are, all they're going to do is look to the left and they'll see your dumbass standing right there. You can't see them, but they can see you. Matter of fact, if you don't believe me, I know it's going to be a bit of a daunting task, but check through any one of my field content replays or encounters and you'll see I spawn directly across from where I spawned at in this video and I look to the left and somebody is always there. Always. The more you play this game, the more you'll know, that's my watch going off, the more you'll know about where spawn points are and where you should and should not go. So, I do the most obvious thing and head straight for the center of the semi bowl of death. And it's very deadly because the detector is right there. And I thought right here I heard somebody walk into the house. But I'm wrong. So, seizing the moment, I decided to run straight into here and checking my corners, and everything seems to be okay. Here's a comm station relocated to a very dangerous area right up there and we're going to keep going of course you know we got to stop and loot back in the day this was the map to find buried caches back in the day because there's only so many spots where you can find a picture at back in the day all you had to do was find a, a pot on a stove that you could loot and bam picture just like that every time so yes I used to come to this map and boost for buried caches and that's how I got so much food back in the day but that was vigor about two years ago this is vigor now where you can jump and shoot at the same time like it's apex legends the shit trash also might I remind you this is the game where bushes will shoot at you and they're not ghillie suits you know what I'm saying? It's 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 sad where this game is now. Now I believe right here I spot somebody. And I think to myself, it ain't worth going for them. Because comm station is up here. And somebody is shooting nearby. But you see, I'm not gonna worry about it still. I'm gonna use another comm station. Now I'm gonna go prone right here and check the map real quick. Mark where the airdrop is going to land and continue forward. I hit two out of three comp stations. And at this point, I'm pretty sure you know it's coming. Run right up there and toss a grenade and hope for the best for me, but the worst for my enemy. Doesn't mean for that to rhyme? Possibly, but not every time. So, we're here at the lake. And I'm crossing it. Grab these chemicals, I believe. Yes, sir. At the time of this recording, I only have four L86s. 
four. I believe at every time around this gameplay was being recorded, I had like nine or eight. So, yeah, they're going to slow down after the last video where I uploaded an L86. But you still got plenty more of L86 gameplay to come. And I understand by the time you're seeing this video, the L86, well, I mean, it's not, it's not that praiseworthy now. Nobody really uses it. Nobody really cares about it. But all I'm saying is, I like it. Yo, that gunfight been going on for the past, like, 30 Dark Ages. What the fuck going on? A Molson and a pistol. A Molson and a pistol. Now, that sounds recent. When I say not recent, that sounds, uh, close. Near. Proximity-wise. I see the guy, right? Right there. And... Shoot, miss my shot. And that sucks. Because what is he going to do? He now knows he's being shot at from two different directions. Two different directions. He's either going to run into cover, run to an exit, or proceed to push into somebody. And he pushes into somebody. When you pin like that, you got to rush towards somebody with a weaker weapon. That's what you got to do. Now you see, I'm very suspicious about that ridge over there. Very suspicious because about six times out of ten, somebody's always in that exact spot. I don't know why, but that's the case. But I figure that I'm not done quite yet looking over this way. Because yes, we heard shots, but once you kill somebody, what do you do? You think you're good and you start pushing further into the map and whatnot. You know? And um, that's when you run into somebody else. And here's a guy right there, I believe. Or not. Oh, SVU. That wasn't a guy. That's the red container. Okay. I remember why I recorded this shit now. I have a choice in front of me. That red container is sitting right there, but that airdrop area is right up there. That's an SVU. I'm not going to hear him fire from far away, but I can hear him from up close. Here's the thing though. You don't want to fight an SVU up close. You really don't. And here's the best part about all this. The best part is that comm station is right near that red container. And he's waiting. He's waiting before he gets it. And the comm station is already unusable anyway. So he's over there. And he's guarding that red container. Which we all know has an airdrop in it. So. I'm getting the height advantage. Hoping I don't get shot at. And I believe him. Look, look behind me and see if I spot him. No, I don't. Okay. I keep going. Because even though the red container is right there, the airdrop area, and the air, where the airdrop's going to land at, is right here. So, I'm going to run this way and drop a radiation grenade where I think the airdrop's going to land at. Because that's how I use my radiation grenades. It's interesting how I made it this far and not get shot at. It's almost like nobody's over here. Almost. Now, I could wait for the exact airdrop to land. I could. Or, I can try to be proactive, pop the grenade, and run away. And I believe... Hold on now. Before I can even do that, I get pinged. Who pinged me and why? Two things... We don't know. We don't know. So here's the thing, right? I get pinged again. But you didn't see it. Actually, no. That's it right there. I get pinged twice. And there's some footage that y'all are missing because I forgot to hit the record button. 
But all I did was run from the aerodrop to down here, and nothing happened. So you didn't miss anything. But I get pinged again. And look at the top of your screen. That's homeboy with a red container. So even though I had a perfect plan, this guy had a way out of it on both sides. I could have popped a grenade on that container. But it wouldn't have been as dangerous. Because it's a container. All I gotta do is hold X or square for PS4, pick it up, and you're out of there. With the aerodrop, you have a booby trap, you have radiation, and you have overweight. So of course he's gonna go for the red container. Of course he was. He was never gonna go for the damn actual aerodrop. He was guarding the red box the entire time. And again, like I said, it's almost like nobody's here. And there's only one way you can check that. The detector. Also, I'm not getting shot at right now. And there you go. It's just me and him. Until it's just me. And before you ask, yes, I found that cache without a picture. I mean, wouldn't it make sense that, well, I say that, for every time that the buried house or the, the uh, barred house has been inside those caverns, the buried cache has been somewhere else. So I can't really say it's always there because it's not. But in any case, I get a decent amount of XP, my life intact, an H bar T on my back and one headshot to my name. The thing is this. The play works when there's no alternative. But when there's an alternative and somebody knows about it and they're guarding it, that renders, that renders your play useless. Or in this case, my Radiation Storm play useless. I, I just got lucky that nobody, well, nobody else was around and so I can loot the really important stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.